Four long years, the Bitcoin halving is finally upon us once again. This is the Bitcoin Olympics, you guys. This is a big deal. So in this video, I actually don't want to talk much about the Bitcoin halving itself. There's plenty of great content out there that goes in depth on what the Bitcoin halving is. I actually have a couple videos on it myself. Heck, you can do a quick Google search on the Bitcoin halving and figure out what it is. Pause the video right here if you want to. But real quick, the Bitcoin halving is an event that occurs every four years, roughly every four years, in which the reward to miners is cut in half, hereby reducing the amount of Bitcoin entering the circulating supply by 50%. Simple supply and demand economics 101. That's good news for price action. Granted, demand stays steady, which I think it most definitely will, if not appreciate in demand. So objectively good news for Bitcoin. This is not speculative. This is a mathematical bullish occurrence for the Bitcoin network and the price of Bitcoin. That's my opinion, and that cannot be disputed. But what I do want to talk about in this video is what the price does from here using the charts, using the technicals available to us, using some indicators that I, that I personally keep an eye on and put a lot of weight on to give us an idea of what can happen from here in, I'll say, the month or two ahead, okay? Into May, June. And I will give a little spoiler alert right now. I mean, if, if the screen wasn't a spoiler enough, I do think that new highs are on the horizon. I do think that, personally, my guess is that we see new all-time highs definitely at some point during May, if not at some point in June. But the sooner the better. Right now, things are looking good on the charts, and uh, I'm excited to dive in with you guys. We'll be taking a look at Bitcoin today. We'll take a look at Ride on the charts as well. And we'll actually be taking a look at Marathon Digital too. Um, personally, Ride is my go-to miner. Whatever your go-to Bitcoin mining stock may be, good on you. If Bitcoin climbs, it's probably going to do really well. But Ride is my choice. Therefore, that is what I'm going to focus on in this video. And Mara is the largest Bitcoin miner. So we'll take a look at good old Miss Mara as well. Going to do my best to keep it short and sweet for you guys. Uh, I mean, I guess before we get straight into price action and actually reading over this morning's newsletter, um, just because I really summarized my thoughts well on Bitcoin and Bitcoin miners, the Bitcoin having itself and its impact on the markets. If you go on to gain value from this video, please give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here, if you want to ride the post Bitcoin having waves with us. And let me know in the comments down below, what is your post having We'll go, what is your June 1st price target for Bitcoin? Let me know in the comments down below. Let me know what your favorite Bitcoin miner is as well. Okay, so again, we'll get to reading. I'll supplement uh, kind of as we go over the charts here and just some of my words. Uh, we'll supplement the chart with that and uh, really we'll dive into the chart and talk about these upside price targets. And I want to justify uh, really why I think Bitcoin climbs 33% from here. Okay, so it's Friday. Isn't it awesome that this the Bitcoin having occurred on Friday? I guess for a lot of people, it's going to be a Saturday. But here in Hawaii, we're at the end of the time zone. So it's definitely Friday. Good time to celebrate. And we're closing out the week with a bang. Not only is it an amazing day in the options portfolio. And you know what, you guys? I got to throw in the call to action somewhere. So I will just say that the Waves options portfolio has been on fire. I'm actually going to pull up my, my Robinhood account right now. No, I'm not doing the screen mirror thing, but I just want to show you guys this. See if it, oh, I can't, all right, <clears throat> maybe that'll work. I trust you guys can get a decent look at that. Sorry, it's not focusing, but regardless, uh, the Robinhood account was up 50% today. Uh, this is one of my two options accounts. So all options there, amazing day in the, in the, in the options portfolio, consists of multiple positions. And uh, of course, Riot Platforms is one of them. I don't know why that just zoomed out so much. But if you guys, want these daily newsletters in your inbox every single trading day, every morning. This is my trade alert, right? One of these puppies every day and some price targets. This is, I mean, for Riot, this just kind of justifies what we're going to discuss about calling how the Bitcoin having would act as a buy the news event for Bitcoin miners. Just a little validation here. But if you guys want these daily newsletters, if you want a complete breakdown of my personal portfolio, literally every single call option, put option, stock position, cryptocurrency position, in my portfolio, then that is going to be the first link in the description of this video. My complete portfolio daily newsletter, 
15 bucks a month, 40 bucks for every three months, completely up to you. Try free for seven days. The reason I do a free trial is because I'm so confident in the product I provide. And really, I want as many of you guys in here as possible. This is a really exciting time for Waves Capital. The past year, I mean, there, there's ups and downs every year, but right now we're really catching our stride and uh, I'm, just, I'm just pumped for everyone who's a member and everyone who's involved and uh, it's just it's just a good time to be a member of Waves Cap. So if you want to join us, the first link in the description, I uh, appreciate you. If you do, welcome to the winning team. We look forward to having you. But if not, thanks for watching this video, okay? Go on to enjoy the rest of it. The Bitcoin halving is less than eight hours away. I was at the time of writing right now, 225. So close, you guys. And by the time a lot of you are watching this, I'm sure it's happened. So, you know, throw some swords in the <laughs> throw some swords in the comments, I guess. Um, and as of now, definitely looking like a buy the news event for Bitcoin miners, just as we expected it to be. Called it. Bitcoin is looking promising on the charts as we approach the event. 1D stochastic RSI is successfully curled to the upside, and 1D RSI looks like it's ready to break above its EMA or exponential moving average. This is very bullish from a medium term perspective, and with the positive fundamental catalyst of the halving, I believe that the next wave up to new highs is extremely likely. So, my May June price target for BTC stands within the range of 85,000 due to 90,000. Let's take a look at BTC on trading view and talk about why that is, okay? So before we do that, let's just do a, a little bit of reflection. What I really like to see over these past few days and what gave me a lot of hope uh, leading into this halving event was the fact that Bitcoin successfully retested this previous line of resistance that really it, it had to get out of the way at some point ever since it broke out back here. Successfully retested this previous line of resistance as new support. It held this support range in this previous channel and volume staying steady which is good you always want to see volume staying steady that's that's a good thing as long as volume's not significantly decreasing it's more likely that that the asset has plateaued and will continue the overall trend direction as opposed to a reversal of trend which would just be you know to the downside and that's something once we get to some new highs you got to be really mindful of and and really look out for is once we get that crazy parabolic rally it happens every single cycle it's going to happen at some point after we get that rally be very cautious of when the volume starts to significantly decrease because that's usually when you see that reversal and really kind of that bubble because it's probably going to become a bubble. Happens every time. <laughs> probably going to happen again. History doesn't repeat itself, but it does rhyme. Just watch out for that decrease in volume. That's usually a sign of the top. Okay, so Bitcoin. From here, from the halving event, I do think that we ultimately make our way up to the top end of this megaphone pattern that has been in play since the top all the way back in April of 2021. Top here, top here creates the line of resistance on this massive megaphone pattern, okay? We have yet to test this line. If we do correctly test this line of resistance, I guess perfectly test, not correctly test, but perfectly test this line of resistance, I'll say by June 1st, let's just go June 1st, that it would take us to a price of $86,000 and six. $86,600 per BTC. And keep in mind, you guys, the longer it takes to reach this trend line, the higher the price target becomes. Let's say, you know, we have a slow summer. Let's say Bitcoin really starts to pick up again into the fall, which would kind of suck. But, uh, you know, that's the reality of how things play out sometimes. That would take us to a price target of $89,300. If we really rip in the week ahead and see it before May 1st, if we test, uh, let's go April 30th, That'll take us to a price of $86,200, okay? So it's completely dependent upon when Bitcoin chooses to test this trend line. I highly recommend that you guys draw this trend lines on your own chart for yourself because it'll definitely come into play. And, um, you know, once or if we do break above this line of resistance, then that is when I can, when personally at least I'll really start getting excited about the potential of a six-figure Bitcoin or $100,000 plus per BTC. Okay, that's just my take right there. Let's move on to good old Riot platforms. Once again, I did cover this here. And uh, you know, I'll kind of just reiterate what I wrote here. All right, yeah. So Riot platforms is bouncing out of some extremely oversold lows. It's actually so oversold on RSI, a four-hour RSI, that it was completely where my, you can see where my cursor is hovering. 
it was invisible on the chart. I've never seen that in any asset ever. I've never seen an invisible RSI line. So we were we were probably at like two or three on RSI, to be honest. Right now, for, for context, I gotta move my fat head real quick. Right now, for context, we're back at like 45. But yeah, this was this was just way, I mean, that was, that was rock bottom. That was Davy Jones locker right there. But right now, looking much better. We can go back to daily because this is gonna be a little bit more of a medium to long term. I like using daily candles for that. Four hours for short to medium term. Just a little heads up there. But right, again, we called that buy the hype. It, it was a sell the hype by the news event. That's typically the opposite of what happens. But because there was so much fear, because there was so much psychological selling, there's so much just, you know, the classic FUD, fear, uncertainty, doubt around Bitcoin miners and how much they'd be smoked after the halving event. On that note, I do want to, I'll, I'll shout out this video too. Uh, recent interview with Pom. If you guys want a little more, a uh, little more optimism in your life uh, in regard to Bitcoin miners, then watch this interview, uh, the reason one with Pomp, pretty good. It'll just make you a little more excited about why the Bitcoin having really isn't that impactful to miners. But we've been saying that for a long time. That's not news around here. And that's once again, why I really expected the Bitcoin having to be a sell the news event uh, on top of, I mean, it wasn't really hard to call. If you were just trading technicals, we were so ridiculously oversold that a bounce into the having wasn't tough to call. But again, it's really, really difficult to rationalize the fact that Riot and a lot of other Bitcoin miners corrected like well over 50% uh, just in the past like month or two alone. Okay, so when it comes to short term price action, I do think that at the very least Riot makes its way back up to the top end of this gap range that we saw on April 1st. That would take us to about $11.40. Uh, you know, maybe we, maybe it takes us a week or two to get up there. It's completely dependent upon how Bitcoin and the greater markets act, of course. But I do think that ultimately, come Riot's earnings report on May 8th, keep in mind, Marathon Digital is scheduled to report on May 8th as well, but also keep in mind that both of these companies typically don't actually report on the day that it's estimated. It's usually a little before, okay? So that kind of surprises, especially Riot. But regardless, I do think that Riot, prior to this earnings report on May 8th, does make its way up to the 1150 region, give or take a few cents, and then dependent upon those earnings. And that's a big if, if Riot impresses with earnings, which, you know, I'm hopeful of, and it's going to look really good if Bitcoin's ripping to, you know, $85,000, $90,000, of course. So if Riot impresses with earnings, if Bitcoin rallies, then I think that Riot can easily make its way up to the line of resistance. Very, I mean, very evident, very visible line of resistance here. That has really been in play since July of 2023. Okay, so almost a year now this has been in play. Touch point, touch point, three touch points, four touch points. Uh, I think that this will be the next major high point for Riot as far as, you know, again, $85,000, $90,000 BTC. I definitely think Riot can climb to $17. And because I think Bitcoin will see those highs uh, in late May, June at the latest, I think that we can see a $17 Riot by mid-June. Okay, let's close it out with Mara and then we'll call it a day, you guys. Marathon Digital. Let's go to four hours because it looks a little more graspable. Mara, uh, Mara, in my eyes, presents a much more simple chart. And it's this. Mara is in a downtrend. And this red line right here is a very, very clear line of resistance on this shorter term downtrend. We'll call it a medium term downtrend. Been in play for well over a month now. But we're getting close. I think that a break of this line of resistance on this short to medium term downtrend will initiate the rally up to this line of broken support, okay? TA101, broken support tends to act as new resistance. Mar got below this and has been in a significant downtrend since. I do think that this will come into play as new resistance. Um, and again, this just plays into my belief that Bitcoin will do extremely well over the, over the next 30 to 45 days, okay? So, Mara... This is a crazy trend line because this gets the, the price target for this one gets significantly higher because it's so steep as, as, as we expand out. But, you know, if Bitcoin goes crazy, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Mara goes crazy as well. And if I'm being completely honest, uh, I do think Riot can go a lot higher than that price target. We just uh, then th I think Riot can climb way higher than $17 in the case that Bitcoin keeps rallying. And if they beat earnings, which I, I do expect that they, they will personally. OK, so. That's Mario, you guys. Uh, again, draw these trend lines in your own uh, charts for yourselves. I usually say this up front, but if, if you don't, 
if you don't believe in the validity or efficacy of stick figure trend lines, then you simply haven't been trading for long enough because these are far more. <laughs> I've tried every indicator in the book. These work the best and these make you the most money. That's straight up. That's my experience. I feel like that's most uh, successful traders experience. So that's the video, you guys. I appreciate you watching. Again, if you want to join Waves Capital, if you want to become a member of Waves Cap for real, it's the first link in the description of this video. Let me know in the comments down below. What is your post having price target for BTC and uh, whatever your favorite miner is? I look forward to talking with you guys. Uh, it's exciting times ahead. And uh, yeah, I'm just pumped to ride more waves with you. Fun times. Fun times. And until next time, always remember take action, make waves. Peace, guys.